Hello everyone, welcome back to Vicki's Country Home. I had to go into town today to work and I feel like I might be starting to come down with this stuff that everybody's had. Not bad, just right now kind of a tickle in the throat and not feeling quite right. So I'm taking a silicoxinum, I'm drinking my elderberry syrup, um, I'm, I'm doing all of those things. But at the same time, I want some chicken soup. So I'm going to make my favorite chicken soup. And I've made one pretty similar to this before. Um, but today what I'm going to do, because I want to do this quickly, is I'm going to use my home canned chicken thighs. And some of them have a bit of broth in it. And some are mostly just the chicken with a little broth. I'm going to use both because we'll eat this for at least a couple days. So I'm going to get started and show you how I make my favorite chicken soup. Let's get started. I should probably just call this my kitchen sink chicken soup because basically I try and use as much as I have out of the refrigerator, but I usually go and pick up some fresh vegetables too. So I've got some celery, and if you've never tried this, I don't use celery that often. So when I do, I always have some left. This is still crisp. This has probably been in there two weeks or more. There's some brown on the end, but I just cut that off. This is, celery stays great, and all I've done is wrap foil around it and put it in my refrigerator. So we're gonna put celery. I have some carrots, a zucchini, a yellow squash, I have a couple of these little baby bok choy. If you've never put this in a soup, I encourage you to try it because I love it. I, I slice up the stems and the bulb and I slice up the greens and it goes wonderful in soup. I'm gonna put a few little creamer potatoes cut up. Diced green chilies, one of my favorite things to add some Rotel canned tomatoes. And then I always like to put some grain in there. So I always add some barley. And this time I'm gonna add some farro. So this just kinda has everything in it and turns out really great. So what I've done is I've already put some chicken bone broth in the pot to start heating up. The next thing I'm gonna do is just take some of my barley and I'm going to rinse it. So I just put it in a strainer, uh, maybe a couple of handfuls. That's probably maybe a third of a cup. And the same with the farro. See, these take a little bit longer to cook, and because I'm using the, my home canned chicken thighs, most of this won't take that long to cook, so I want to get this grain going. That's what farro looks like. So I'm going to just put a little bit less, maybe a quarter cup of that. Now I'm going to go give this a rinse and put this in the pot. Alright, so I've got my broth heating up, I've got the greens in there, and I want them to start cooking. And now I've just sliced up the carrot and a little bit of celery, and I'll put those in soon. But I forgot to add that I put in garlic. And none of this there's no amounts. 
there's no rules to this soup. It's whatever you want to put in it. It's the kitchen sink. So I'm just going to cut off this little bad spot here. I'm just going to kind of chop this up a little bit. But it doesn't have to be any certain way. And this will just go in right with all the carrots and the celery. Now most of the time when I make this soup, I'm starting from cooking a whole chicken. Cooking it, deboning it, the whole nine yards. But because I'm not feeling great and I want to get this made quickly, none of this takes that long to cook. So. Mostly the grains. The grains will probably take the longest, maybe half hour to 45 minutes to get tender. But I'll have everything else chopped up. And none of this takes long to cook. So I'm going to put in the carrots, garlic, and celery. I may or may not add some onion. We'll have to see. I'm going to cut these creamer potatoes probably in half or quarters. And I'm going to, I'll probably peel these because being winter, they're probably not as good as they would be in the summer. So I'll peel the, the squash and cut that into slices and then quarters. So I'm going to get this all prepped and then I'll bring you back when I start throwing this thing together. All right, I've got almost everything cut up except for the baby bok choy. And it's cooking great. Now I'm just going to add just the liquid for now off of this chicken. Just I'll add the chicken later in the process. And the reason I make the chicken thighs in broth and I use the chicken thighs is because it keeps a better texture. So when I want to make something like soup or a casserole where I want it to stay more in chunks, that's when I'm going to use chicken thighs canned in broth. Okay, so at this point I'm going to add the Rotel tomatoes I'm going to add the carrots, garlic, celery, and the creamer potatoes. And we're going to let that cook a little while because they take a little bit longer to cook. Then toward the end we're going to add the squash and the baby bok choy. Now as far as seasoning goes, first of all I'm going to add I think about a little less than a quarter cup of dehydrated onion flakes. And I'm going to add granulated garlic and black pepper. And then I'm going to add my favorite seasoning that I use so much. And that is cumino or cumin seeds. And again, I, I almost always grind them fresh. They smell different from the ground cumin cumino that you would buy. And they taste different. I'm not, it's hard to explain, but they, they just have a different taste to it. So I keep my mogahete handy and I keep the whole cumin seeds. I stock those very well. It gives such a wonderful flavor. 
So I'm going to add all my seasonings to the pot now. All right, now this hasn't taken me much time. I'm going to guess 15 minutes or so. But honestly, it is so worth it. And for the bok choy, I just, it's really tender, not like the full size bok choy. And I think this is called pak choy, but here in the markets it's called baby bok choy. And I'm just going to cut it into kind of bite-sized pieces. I just don't want anything huge. And I'll go ahead and add the bulb part of it when I add the squash. And then I'll add these the greens right at the end because they don't take any time to cook. And I decided to add a little bit of Mexican oregano. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It just adds a good flavor. But the wonderful thing is you can pretty much do whatever you want with this soup. And it always comes out good. So I'm going to add this, cut the rest of this up. And in just a very short time, I'll be adding the chicken and the rest of the vegetables. Here is my wonderful kitchen sink chicken soup full of veggies and my home canned chicken probably 45 minutes start to finish and completely homemade from scratch what's better than that so now I'm gonna take a taste and there's no way to get everything in one bite there's too many things going on here So we'll just take some. It's so good. There's spice. Even me not feeling well, you can taste it. And that, that's what I love. And having that little bit of Rotel and chili peppers just makes all the difference in the world. So I hope you give this a try. Add your own ingredients. Use what you have on hand, whether it's fresh, frozen, dehydrated, freeze-dried. It doesn't matter. You can add whatever you want to this soup. And I've never made one I didn't like. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and share. And leave a comment below. I really love reading your comments. God bless, and we'll talk again soon.